Ross with Beauty Launchpad, and we're backstage at ICA's Fall Atelier. And I'm here with Nicholas French, who's about to present his Journey of a Lifetime. Hi, Nicholas. Hello. How are you doing, darling? Right. I'm good. Yeah. I'm good. So tell us about your presentation, Journey of uh, a Lifetime. Well, Journey of a Lifetime is a, a, a fusion of my family's work over the last 90 years. So basically, we're going back to my father's time who was a very famous hairdresser in England for many, many years in the 30s and the 40s and the 50s and the 60s. And then I came into the scene and I've been going since the 60s. So it's like a really it's a retrospective, but we're talking about the past, the present and the future. So you're going to see hairstyles from the past, uh, wonderful films from the past, uh, you know, wonderful photographs that my father did. And then we're going to go into uh, the present, which I've been doing with Naha and a lot of photographic work with Matrix. It's been fantastic. And then we move into the future. So I'm going to do some futuristic looks as well, all in 30 minutes. So tell us, how many looks are we going to be seeing from your collection? Well, the thing is, it's a great fusion because what we've done, okay, we've got sort of five fabulous models, uh, live models, but also we've, what we've done to evoke the history of, of my family is to use full-size shop window mannequins and dress the hair and dress the clothes and get that feeling of, uh, you know, timeless, uh, you know, French energy from the French family. So you can uh -huh. see all the different sort of uh, influences from the, from the 30s and the 40s and the 50s and the 60s to the present day. So and it's quite interesting. So we have, we have live models and we have actually mannequins dressed in the sort of, you know, modern way. So my inspiration is really back to the future. Oh, okay. which means ideas from the past we can utilize and use today uh, to educate the professional hairdresser. And actually, um, your father made paper mache yeah, tops, and that sculpture. kind of, yeah. uh, some of this reminds me yeah, of that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. because I mean, I've, since early days, uh, I was with my father, and we were, you know, I was handing the glue up and everything else, and uh, he was a great sculptor and a, a, very, a great artist. Yeah. And, and that's, you know, I can never really live up to his... Uh, ingenuity and his uh, individuality but um, I every, think of him every day he would have been 101 oh, next wow. week wow. <laughs> wow. So, so you know it's a wonderful experience what I'm doing here and I've been given the opportunity um, you know by Intercoiffure my father was a president of Intercoiffure in Great Britain in the 1960s so you know it goes back a long way this relationship so as part of your journey of a lifetime presentation, you have headpieces that are spanning your career. So let's right. take a look at this one. Yeah. This is, I, I did a collection um, in 08. And this collection actually is inspired by My Fair Lady, okay. which in the great scene, uh, they have every, everything's done in black and white. And I thought, why not do black and white? So what you're going to see is a live model wearing this at the show. Mm -hmm. And then she's going to go down the catwalk and come back. And you'll see these amazing sort of uh, shop window mannequins. And the other part of the collection will be actually on them. Okay. So they're going to go into a collection. This was actually totally inspired by My Fair Lady. And actually, the head comes through here, like you see. Uh, this took about 14 hours to create. Um, and I do everything from drawings, and then I replicate them and try them out. And uh, when you see the clothes and the, the model and everything put together, it has a, a definite story. You know, it's something that stands out. And what I'm trying to do here is whatever work I do, it's all about the professional hairdresser. So when you see the photographs, they go to magazines, they go to TV, they go here, and people think, wow, that's a hairdresser created that. So right. that's my mission, really. And this and is part these, of it. What are these made out of? Uh, these, these little... These are very interesting, actually, because it, it's, a, it's, a form of, it's a form of hair. Like, and what I do, I use electric clippers to make them look... It was inspired by carpet samples, <laughs> actually. You know, I always get inspired by very strange things. And this is like, imagine a little carpet samples. So yeah. electric clippers, yeah? So it takes hours to glue them, put them in place, and get this beautiful texture and beautiful color. It's all in black and white. And you'll see the rest of the collection, which has a sort of synergy with this, which is cool. Okay. Okay. So let's uh, we'll move over to yeah. your modern day, the one that you're actually crafting yeah. today. Uh, so tell us about the inspiration behind this and how you crafted it. Um, well, the inspiration really is it's a sort of retro. It's inspired by the '60s, and you'll see by the way the hair's finished. It's very highly lacquered. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But the modern modern shape is really we're going to cut this into like a '60s shape, rather sassoonish, and we've got this sort of wonderful sort of feeling in the hair and this is actually real hair okay oh my gosh uh, and I work as a consultant for a company called she hair extensions we actually this is this is about eight hundred dollars worth of hair that I've actually lacquered and and what I call blades of grass which is done with flat irons on lacquered hair mm -hmm. so you get this amazing feel to it and shine and gloss so how long so does it take to do just one of these plates uh, a little bit of time actually you do it two or three times about 15 20 minutes something like that oh wow so you get this finish in the hair you see okay. very highly glossed but I just love it's all about balance proportion and shape 
So this is going to sit somewhat down like this, so it's going to come straight out on the model. It's in the futuristic look, but it's, again, it's back to the future. It's ideas from the past. I brought it today and made it look modern. And that's yes. the most important thing we're doing here. It's yeah. absolutely gorgeous, and I can't wait to see the finished okay. result I've on the models. Anybody's head before it's new. Oh, yeah. very so cool. We should find out. Very okay. cool. Tell me what you feel is a great benefit to being a part of um, ICA. Well, I think that you know, I think hairdressing exchange, hairdressers exchanging ideas. Um, Business-wise and, and creativity-wise is fantastic, and I think that's what it's really all about. It's about exchanging ideas, and you know, if you see other people work, you always learn something. Um, it's not about you know I'm the best or whatever. It's about just mingling with hairdressers, professional hairdressers at a certain level, and this is very prestigious, which is important. And I think you know I couldn't believe that hairdressers would be in a place like this doing a hair show 30 years ago, and here we are. Amazing. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for speaking with us, and we're looking forward to seeing your presentation and all your beautiful headpieces. Thank you so okay. much. Thank you. Okay.